My name is Kev. When I found out about my increased risk, it was really scary. I'd only associated liver disease with alcohol. So to find out that um, weight gain and obesity puts me in a high risk category, I was very scared. My name's Roxana. My health professional spoke to me about it when I was hospitalised uh, for something different. So they took a couple of tests and they came back with saying I had uh, fatty liver disease. And that was the first time I knew about it. My name's Jade. I think it was about four or five years ago. I was a heavy drinker. There's been nothing since, no bloods, no, no anything. It's kind of like, you've been told, off you go. It's important for me to know about my liver disease risk because I have a young family and I'd like to see them grow up and I'd like to be healthy. It's my body and if there's a way I can reduce that risk, I want to be aware of it. If I'd have been told earlier, I, I know that I would have changed my, my ways sooner. I wouldn't have waited until I got to a certain BMI, a certain weight. There should be more information available. There should be more awareness. And um, not everybody speaks English. I would prefer a more personal response. Very straightforward and blunt. I wouldn't like it to be sugar-coated. I would like to know the risks and I'd like to be told in quite a quite a serious, stern way. It might be uncomfortable to, to, to say it to a patient, but that's got to be the better option. I would take more action if it was personalised, because that way it's talking about me and what I can do to make changes. I'd like them to be straightforward and just say, this is your risk and why, and this is what you can do to prevent the risk. It's important because this is my health. So I need to know what I can do to prevent or stabilize whatever I'm going through. Not just for me, for everyone. Everyone should be aware because it is their body and they have a right to know what they can do to make it better or to make that change. <laughs>